Hey guys, Pete here from The Sunday Drive, and today I'm going to be doing a review and installation video on these D1 flush mount hood latches. So if you've seen this design before, it's probably because you've seen the Aero Catch hood latches, which are identical to this, um, but they are much more expensive. These D1 generations uh, hood latches can be purchased off of eBay for much cheaper, and I'm sure that comes at a cost, so that's what we're going to be looking at. Um, I can already say right out of the gate that I have some concerns about the quality and the packaging of them, but we're going to be installing them on my Exoset, so stay tuned. So this is how the hood latches came packaged in a bag. Um, not very happy about it because as you can see, it's all loose, but the main reason I'm annoyed is because this is the template you're supposed to trace and it's ripped. Not a huge deal, but just an observation. The quality of these compared to the Aero Catch hood latches, um, these seem a little flimsier. The lip here that holds it down doesn't seem as substantial as the ones on the Aero Catches, but it does lock into place. And overall, it seems there's like a lot more play in this system than there would be with the higher quality hood latches. Mechanism wise though, I mean, it does what a hood latch is supposed to do. Push down, lock it, and there you go. So, I'm going to be installing this on my Exocet hood. Um, it should be pretty easy because there are already um, pins installed for the last system, but the last system, as I'll show you, has a push button release and it kept coming undone while I was on the track, so this should be better for that solution. So included in the kit are obviously your flush mount hood latches, your pins with these rubber spacers and double nuts and a little bag of hardware, and the associated washers and nuts. So as you can see, I currently have these push pin uh, hood latches. So when you push down, it locks and all you have to do is push the top button and it releases. Unfortunately, this kept coming undone while I was driving. So as I'm on the track driving, a lot of air comes up from below the hood and pushes against it and it causes a lot of vibrations. Also, since I'm driving, that causes a lot of vibrations as well. Um, these push buttons actually end up releasing while I'm on the track sometimes and the whole hood will start to lift like that and uh, that is no bueno so that is why I'm switching over to this flush mount. Now as you can see here I already have a pin for the old push button latches. Um, unfortunately this is different from the pin that I need for the new hood latches so we're gonna have to drill out the mounting point. And now I'll need to drill out this hole so that the new pin can fit. We're gonna drill to this yellow line. The one right before is the 7 16 All right, so we're using a laser to shoot a beam across the hood. You can kind of see it right there, from pin to pin. So, dead over that pin. And 
over that pin. You can use the laser to know dead center and trace the hole for the latches. So in order to figure out where to place this template on the hood, we first have to find out where the pin's gonna sit. So we opened it up and aligned it with the hole for the pin. And then we marked the front and now we're going to use the template and then trace the rest of the hole. And now we carefully cut with a Dremel. So the latch now fits, it's quite snug, but not too tight. And now we're gonna drill out the holes for the six screws around the side. I will say, something that scares me about these latches is um, how close the hole is to the cutout. So let's see if this focuses. There we go. Right there. Look at how much space there is. Actually right there, that one's pretty much touching. So that's no good. Right there, you can see how little of a gap there is. So that one sucks. So I don't know if getting real ones actually provide more of a space, and it's just because these are the cheap knockoff ones from eBay, or if that's how the real ones are too. So I don't know. If you have the arrow catch ones and you notice that you have the same issue or it's better, let me know. All right, so let's put the hood back on and see how everything lines up. Okay, so there we go. These hood latches are now installed on the Exus set. Not too bad, it took a couple hours, but it's because I wanted to go slow. They do look good. All right, so let me know what you think about how I mounted them. Obviously, I made them perpendicular to the direction of the car instead of parallel. Uh, what would you have done? And do you like how that looks? So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's how you install these hood latches on your car. Now, I'm gonna say that if this is on a race car or a nicer car, I would probably splurge for the better quality ones. Um, these do feel a little chintzy. We'll see how they hold up. I'm sure they'll be fine for the Exocet. I'm most curious about how many times I can open and close them before they start to fail. Um, if that's the case, I'll just go and buy another cheapo set and replace them, swap them out. If I had a carbon fiber hood or if this was on my Corvette, which I'm not putting those on my Corvette, but definitely would splurge for the better quality ones. I did notice that when I um, opened the latch, the pin didn't move at one point uh, through the hole. It was kind of jammed up. Um, I don't know if the better quality ones would have pulled that pin out. Um, or work the same. I gotta go look at a friend's. That is just something else I noticed. So like I said, the mechanism isn't the greatest quality, but yeah, so that's how you install them. Uh, that's your first hand look at them. If you found this video to be helpful, please give us a big like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.